start off the look, I'm priming my eyes. Here I'm using MAC's Painterly Paint Pot. I use this as an eyeshadow primer. It's actually a cream eyeshadow, but it is long wear. To set the cream eyeshadow, I'm taking a powder. This is MAC's Mineralize Skin Finish Powder. You can use a light color eyeshadow or a translucent powder, whatever you like, whatever you have. It'll work, it'll be fine. Just make sure to always set it. Now we're gonna go in with our transition shade. This is gonna be kind of like our eraser color, you can say. I like to use this to blend out all the other colors that we're gonna be putting in the crease. So take a fluffy brush and very little of the color and you start buffing it into the crease back and forth and in circular motions. Now I'm taking the shade called Natural Beauty. This is from the Tarte Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm using a MAC 217 brush. This is a fluffy brush as well, but it's a little bit smaller than the other one that I had used. This color, you're going to place it under the transition shade. This is kind of intensifying the look just a little bit. And we're going to darken it up little by little from outer corner to inner corner. Here I'm doing the same thing to the other eye and again blending back and forth and in circular motions. When I get towards the end of the eye I also like to pull it outwards just a little bit so it can smoke out towards the end of my eyebrow and looks like a nice V shape. After that I like to go back into my first fluffy brush with a little bit of that transition shade and I like to buff out the edge of the eyeshadow that I just applied just so it looks really really smooth and blown out. After that I'm taking the shade Best Friend from the same Tarte palette and this is a MAC 231 brush if I'm not mistaken. It's a really thin fluffy brush and I feel like I can get a little bit more precise with this color. I just pack the color on the tip of the brush, I tap off the excess and we do the same technique we've been doing since the beginning. We go from outer corner to inner corner and you buff in little by little. Now to highlight the brow bone, I'm taking Max Shroom Eyeshadow. This is a really nice shimmery white kind of color and I'm using this with a MAC 239. This is also really good to clean up any blending um, that went too high and is too close to your brow bone. You can also, you know, tone it down with this eyeshadow under your brow. Now I'm taking the color Bombshell from the same palette and a MAC 239 brush. We're going to use this to darken the lid so that when we do the nude liner, it can really stand out. The easiest way to make this work and look okay, you have to work in sections. So I grab the brush, I dip it into the color, I tap off the, the excess as most as I can and I pack the color on my lid. I don't move it, I don't you know, shake it, I don't swipe it, I pat it on the lid and that's when you're going to get the most color payoff. After you finish packing on the color as intense as you want it to be, you're going to take the same 221 brush and you're going to buff out really softly the edges of the color. Can you tell I'm obsessed? Can you? Can you? Yes, you can. Okay, now that I'm trying to act decent again, um, we're going to head into the wing portion of this video. So, no more dancing. Since I don't have any cream liquid liners, well, cream color liquid liners, I'm going to use the same cream eyeshadow that we use, the Painterly. It's like a nude kind of color. And that's what we're going to use. Um, acting kind of like if it was a gel eyeliner. I'm using this with an angled brush from MAC. First thing I do to do my gel liner is I get the angled brush and I kind of flick a line from the end of my eye up towards my eyebrow. After that what I do is I connect from the top towards closer towards my eyebrow 
and I start doing like an upside down triangle back towards where my eyelashes are. After that, you're just gonna connect and fill in the space from the wing and line your lash line really softly and really thin. So my camera decided to overheat and turn off and I had no idea. So what I did after the wing, I set the cream um, wing that I used uh, painterly with the color Caregiver from the same um, Tartlet palette. So if you want to see how I do my foundation concealer routine, let me know or like the video and I will definitely put one up for you. Here I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm taking the same um, first shade that we use in the eyes that it was the color natural beauty and I'm buffing this on my lower lash line. We're kind of going to do the same thing that we did to the top of the eye on the bottom. Now I'm just lining my waterline with an Urban Decay pencil. I'm not sure of the name, but I can put it down in the description bar. So if you're really interested in it, it's kind of like a brownish purple kind of color. It's really nice and it glides on the eye really smooth. I did line on my lash line with that same pencil so that I can go back in with my pencil brush and smudge it out. This is going to intensify the under eye. Believe it or not, I kind of planned this look around a new ColourPop eyeshadow that I had bought. But for some reason, I couldn't open the damn thing. Can you see that I'm struggling? Can you see it? You see that pain? Yeah, I know. So instead, I took a MAC pigment, a really old pigment that I have. Honestly, I don't even think that they have it anymore. And that's what I popped in the inner corner of my eyes just for a little bit of sparkle. Now I'm just prepping my lashes and I'm coating them with a thin layer of mascara. I'm using Maybelline's Big Shot Mascara. It is the bomb. I love this mascara. I'm obsessed. I decided to put my lashes on with the camera off because I struggle so much doing it to myself. I'm using Lily Lashes in Doha. Now I'm going to contour my face and what I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the powdered version from light to medium. The color I'm using is called Fawn if I'm not mistaken. And I start from the back of my face towards my ear and I carve out my cheekbone really lightly. I go over the temple, on my forehead and around my jawline. Make sure to go in that double chin, girl. You don't want no papa face. So for bronzer, I've been really loving Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Tan. I used to love Hoola from Benefit, which I still do. But this mineralized one is a little bit lighter and I feel like it looks really nice on my fair skin tone. I like to bronze after contouring because I feel like I get to blend out the contour just in case it's a little too harsh sometimes. It's my favorite way of doing it. To brighten up my under eye, I'm taking the same Anastasia contour kit. I just took the banana shade and I'm stamping it on under my eyes really softly. This is gonna help me look a little less dull under the eyes. And I like to put a little bit on my forehead, just dust it very softly, and on my chin. I didn't want my blush to be too intense since the eyes were the main focus of this look. What I took was Milani's Luminoso Blush and I just applied it really softly on the apples of my cheeks. Now for the funnest part of the look is the highlighting. Here I'm taking Laura Geller's Gilded Honey and a really beat broken down fan brush. Don't judge me, I know it's super ratch, but it's how I roll, it's how I do. 
and I'm using this on the cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose. I dust a little bit on my forehead, on my chin. I kind of want like an overall super glowy look. So that's kind of like what I was doing. After highlighting, I like to go back in with my blush brush. No extra product, I just like to blend it all together so it's nice and smooth. For the lips, we're going to keep it simple. I'm taking MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. This is a nice neutral nu nude that matches with every lipstick I feel like. And I'm taking Honey Love Matte Lipstick by MAC as well. To finish off the look, I'm spraying my face with MAC's Fix Plus. This helps the face look very natural and glowy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Please like the video if you do, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!